Well, when you want to play with a level of physicality, you always need running backs. You know, and right now, you know, Rajon Neal and Marlon Lane will get the, the bulk of the carries. The University of Tennessee has a history of accomplished running backs, including Jamal Lewis, <laughs> Travis Henry, Henry in the backfield this time. Henry up and over, touchdown Tennessee! And Chuck Webb. With a wing back set to the right, man in motion coming to the right side as well. Pitch will go to the tailback, Webb, 10, Webb, 5, Webb, 4, 3, Two, one, give him a big touchdown. Chuck Webb, Tennessee. Just to name a few. The running back position carries with it a sense of pride and tradition, plus the newness of the Butch Jones era. During training camp, Marlon Lane and Rajon Neal caught the eye of Coach Jones, and they are ready to lead this weekend. Marlon really progressed throughout the course of training camp. He was slowed for about three days. Uh, with a slight uh, ankle injury, but he's fine now. And, uh, you know, Ray John was just a model of consistency. You know, I thought he really improved in his pass protection skills, which he needed a lot of work on that area. And I think he's really done a great job of embracing that role. But I just think it was a day-to-day -day, uh, level of consistency each and every day. Running backs Marlon Lane and Rajon Neal both appreciate the history of the running back position at the University of Tennessee. It means a lot to um, carry on the tradition uh, that was back in the day. Just ready to go out there and play. I think it comes with a uh, great tradition, uh, pride. Um, you know, to me, I feel it's an honor just because there's so many great guys that came before me and, you know, some that I actually looked up and, you know, watched as a kid and kind of just some of the cut ups of just being here so you can know your history. Each position is critical, and with the opening game just four days away, Rajon Neal, Marlon Lane, and the rest of Team 117 are working hard preparing for Austin P. We still have tickets available at UTTix.com, and you can always go to UTSports.com for more information. For Vol Report, I'm Sarah Mitchell.